the Airbus A340 versus A350. You may be wondering, it's like sister rivalry gone mad. In 1997, Boeing started studies to further develop their already successful 777. Boeing hoped that with more range and more seats, the 777 could be replaced all quad jets with twin engine efficiency. Airbus, not wanting to lose the A340 market, decided to upgrade their A340s. In 1998, final concepts for the Dash 500 and Dash 600 were drawn up. that point, with the new twin-engine 777 being way more efficient with lower maintenance costs than the quad-engine A340, many felt the A340 was an ancient relic and ordered 777 instead. Triple Seven was raining the skies, and with the new 787 offering a step change in efficiency, Airbus finally launched the final version of the A350XWB, the larger Dash 900 and Dash 1000 models intended to replace A340. But how much more capable is the new A350 against its predecessor? Well, before we find out if a new year or warm welcome, and do stay tuned for more great fitness on the way. Starting with performance, the new A350-900 can carry 315 passengers in 3 class over 8,100 nautical miles. Older A340-500 carries 310 passengers to a claimed range of 9,000 nautical miles. In reality though, the aircraft could only fly those missions with a reduced payload of about 150 passengers. With 170 passengers, the new Dash 900 Ultra Long Range range can fly 9,700 nautical miles. The largest A350-1000 carries 366 passengers in 3 class to 8,700 nautical miles. Pretty impressive given the older A340-600 can carry around 350 passengers in a 3 class layout to 7,900 nautical miles only. The A350 is powered by Rolls-Royce Trent XWB engines. The XWB84 engine with 84,000 pounds of thrust for the Dash 900 and the XWB97 with 97,000 pounds of thrust for the Dash 1000. The larger 118-inch fan compared to 97.5 combined with higher bypass ratios results in about 10% lower fuel burn, plus half the noise footprint. Efficiency. The A340 burns around 16% more fuel burn per trip than the 777-300ER, which in turn burns 25% more fuel burn per trip than the A350-1000. 
This means all in all, the 8 crew 40 burns 41% more fuel burn per trip over the longest missions than the 8 crew 50. The 8 crew 50 900 burns 7.07 kilograms of fuel per kilometer in terms of fuel burn per trip and 2.81 liters for every passenger flown over 100 kilometers. The 8 crew 50 1000 over 6000 nautical mile mission burns 8 kilograms of fuel per kilometer in terms of fuel burn per trip and 2.18 liters per passenger over 100 kilometers. All in all, the lighter composite airframe, new systems, new aerodynamics, and new engines make the 8450 around 40% more efficient. Cabins. The A340 has a decent cabin. It offers a pretty quiet ride, wide 18-inch seats in a much-loved 242 configuration which is typical and can be retrofitted with the latest Wi-Fi and wood lighting. However, it does have the smallest windows of any white body plus the ceilings aren't particularly high. The 8450 has a much nicer and more modern cabin. With the airspace cabin, new mood lighting with welcome effect is standard. While it also has larger windows, lower cabin altitude with higher cabin pressure, the quietest cabin in the sky according to Airbus, the latest Wi-Fi and IFE all standard. It also has the largest overhead bins. The aircraft has 18-inch white seats in a typical 9 abreast layout. Unique features include the full underfloor IV cabling giving more space for passengers' feet. Advantages and disadvantages. 8340 with 4 engines didn't have to comply with ETOPS restrictions, meaning it can fly pretty much anywhere in the world. 8340s could now be had for less money, both in terms of lease or purchase. However, there is a reason for this. Airlines are simply dumping their 8340s. With high fuel prices in 2010s, 8340s became economically obsolete. Four engines also meant higher maintenance costs. The A350 has high performance but is a much more fuel efficient aircraft, however, it is more expensive to buy. Orders. The A340-500 received 32 orders compared to 762 for the Dash 900, while the A340-600 received 97 orders compared to 168 for the Dash 1000. It is worth noting that orders are coming in from A330 replacement and 777 replacement markets. So then, is the 8350 a true successor? Well, it not only is, but it's also one of the best white bodies out there today. And with the 8350, Airbus is back and back strong with a great contender in the long-range large white body market.